Hey again, it's Stephanie Johnston over at the Johnston team of Service First Mortgage and wanted to talk to y'all a little bit today about construction loans, lot loans, and everything to build a home. So exciting stuff. So we get a lot of questions that says, okay, I want to build a house, don't know what to do, don't know what the financing looks like. And one of the things that we pride ourselves here on is coming up with a lot of solutions and a solution for all different situations and making sure that if you as a consumer understand your options for financing and we've got all of them to cover you. So just kind of a recap in terms of the two ways that a house is generally built when we talk new build and the financing end of it. So the first option is the you know, you have a neighborhood, you have a builder, they're generally a larger builders, and you just go in, you contract the home, and then the property is built for you, and you close at the end. So there's some other videos and information out there about that. It's not specifically where I'm gonna go with this video today, but that would be where the builder is providing the financing. You just have to get approved for your loan, and you have to basically get a standard mortgage at the end of the transaction when the house is done. So there's that direction. And then there's also when a lot of people talk about building on their own land or a custom home or maybe a smaller builder that says, I actually don't provide financing. I need you, uh, Mr. Homeowner, to go get a construction loan. And this is where things become a little bit different. So you have basically two main types of construction lending and you're gonna have what's called a one-time closed construction loan and a two-time closed construction loan. Benefits to both. A lot of our financing that we do, we do try to opt for the one-time close for a couple of reasons we'll talk about. The other thing that we do offer here at Service First is lot loans. So we will lend on raw land, large acreage, a you know regular lot in a neighborhood. We've got all types of financing niches for that. That's something a lot of lenders don't dive into. We find it important to be assistance in that you know arena and you know one if you just want to land hold but two so that you've got the first step ready to go for when we are ready to do the construction got to get the land so you can build on it so when we go to closing we can either a close the construction loan and the lot loan at the same time or b just get the lot loan because everything is not ready and then start to do the construction loan later so two different ways there some of the benefits, again, if I can close the lot and the construction loan at the same time, you do avoid some cost. You do, you know, a, a closing, some title company expense, et cetera. It's a little cheaper to do that. Some of the, the things that make it a little more challenging to do that would be, okay, we actually have to have plans and specs and know everything you're gonna do on that home and have the lot and have it all ready at one time. It depends on where you're at in the process, but that can be super stressful and maybe something that's not realistic. You got the land, you know you're gonna build, but you're like, oh, I don't have a builder yet, I don't have all these things. Because when we lend on construction, we're basing our financing on plans and specs and all these things that you're deciding. So we can't close on our construction loan until these things are formulated and so we know what we're lending on. So we, we have it all finalized up front. So what I would say if you're thinking, okay, I wanna build a house, is getting with a trusted realtor, giving us a call, getting everything ready to go for your financing where you know the steps, the process, and what you can get approved for, and then you know the payments, and you like the payments in out of pocket. And also trying to interview builders up front so that we do have the opportunity to possibly have all this ready, put a little longer of a lot close, and close it all at one time. If that's not a possibility and not a big deal, go with the lot loan financing on its own and then go add the construction loan later. Completely okay. So that's the first part. Then after that, again, we kind of talked about the one time or two time close. One of the really cool things with our new product that we have here is a one time close construction loan that rolls into a 30 year fixed. I know it's a mouthful there. So one time close construction loan that you get a 30 year fixed rate on. So, as everyone knows, or uh, you know, we've talked about in some of our videos, rates change every day. So interest rates are constantly moving. It's hard to plan your new home if the rates are moving and you, you wanna have some of the things dived in and you don't, you don't wanna deal with it. So the cool thing about our construction product on one time is again, we're gonna get those plans and specs from the builder. We're going to appraise the home based on the lot and then what you're gonna put on it and we're gonna lend on that. We are going to lock your rate up front and it's gonna be locked 
for the entire construction period and you do not have to reclose. So you don't have extra fees at the end. We don't have to worry with value changes or if something happened with employment, credit score changes, it doesn't matter. It's just done. You don't have to deal with it. So it's a really cool product on that sense. Um, you can also, again, like you lock in today's rates and we don't have to worry with changing market and it's just taken care of. Then during the construction phase, what happens on either product is you do have a um, interest only period. So we start out with your initial draw and then your loan amount, think of it like a credit card, gets bigger and bigger as we go forward until we get to your final draw. And what we're doing is we've taken your construction and we've taken it through in, in draw amounts and we paid your builder those draw amounts as the house gets completed. So each month, the monthly payment is based on the interest only, so you don't pay any principal, the interest only amount during your construction itself. Then at the end, we do what's called a, a modification of your loan, which again is no fees or nothing, any of that. We just basically determine, okay, where is the loan amount at this point? And then move it to a 30 year fixed at that, that amount with the, the interest rate that we agreed upon up front and we're in great shape. So again, kind of a cool product. The, on the flip side, a two-time close, sometimes there's more options available, maybe for a unique property or outside the box qualification or something maybe we need to work on to get you into the final loan at the end. And what we do there is what's called an interim loan construction. So we do a, an interim um, temporary loan, like a 12-month loan. And then after that, we do a refinance into a normal 30-year fixed at that point. So again, that's the other way that we can go about it. Or when I say 30 year fix, 15 year fix, 20 year fix, whatever product you want can happen at the end. Most people just opt for the 30. And so um, again, there's reasons in which that that might be the most beneficial, but the cool thing is most lenders or a lot of lenders only have the interim and the final and they can't, they don't have all these options. We've got both and we can compare and contrast and show you the options. The other thing at the end of an interim is the fees to do the end loan are not as expensive as a normal refinance and a lot of lenders aren't versed in that. So there's ways that we set it up that we save on title expense if we do need to do a two-time close. So anyways, I know this is a lot of info. The best thing to do is if you say, I wanna buy a house, I don't know what to do, or maybe you're looking at build versus existing and you've got a lot of options, we do it all. So one place to qualify, to get all this stuff um, squared away and to look at the pros and cons of different situations and not have to bounce back and forth between a lot of different lenders. So hope this information's helpful and look forward to helping you out uh, build your dream home. Thanks.